Okay, Kristen, you got your, got your currency up here. And, you know, once again, I think David alluded to this in his response to your post, but your sketches are really, really spectacular. I, I really think they are. I think the fact that you start with pencil, then add a little bit of that color red pencil, and then go ahead and go over it with ink. Um, it, it's just a super technique and one that really communicates very well what your intent is. So, so really, really good job there. Uh, I've said that back since week one. Your sketching is just really, really advanced. Very good stuff. Um, love the visual approach. Absolutely. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad that you're <laughs> this New York Phyllis with, with uh, Keith Herring. And this is just fantastic with the New York skyline. And it, it, it's such a cool juxtaposition to have the traditional New York um, visual attributes and then to juxtapose it with the Keith Herring graphic. Love it. Same thing with the San Francisco with the Golden Gate and then the, um, the foreground. And, and it's just really, really good stuff here. So um, one recommendation or comment, I would say, let me see. You have 50, 20. So you have 5, 10, 20, 50. Um, you haven't designed the backs. But what I'm going to say is um, I would try to get more consistent on the placement of the denomination. Um, because so, for example, right here, these, the 50 and the 20 have the big denomination right there, which is great because it'll be recognizable. But then you have the little tiny one down. I think that's too small. And then on the 10 and the five, you have the, the, domination, the denomination located in a different area on, on the bill itself. So I would definitely recommend that you keep the denominations consistent in their placement within the individual bills. And then, um, so, so these would be the same typeface, the same size, the same treatment, all in the upper right-hand corner. And then you could go with your smaller 10, but not too small. I think these are too small in relationship to the size of the bill. So something a little bigger like that. So you have the big 50 and then a smaller, but still a big 50 down here. So. That's, that's, I think, going to be really, really important in terms of, of recognizing and really being able to delineate the differences between the currencies that quickly. Um, the other thing is it looks like they're all the same size, the bills. Did you plan on, on delineating? Did you plan on demarcating these bills um, um, by size to address um, people who are visually impaired? And that's something that's really pretty common in contemporary currency design. Um, is making the, the, the denominations a different size so that the, hair, the, the sight impaired can feel the difference um, in the, in the, in the and, and they can, you know, assemble their money accordingly so that, and even, you know, somebody who's not sight impaired, it just makes sense that the smaller denominations would be smaller bills. That's up to you. That's not recommended. That's just a, a, a suggestion. Um, but I love what I'm seeing. I can't wait to see your color palette to see where you're going from here. Really looking forward to a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks very much.